Ethereum blockchain where you had the artwork as a link. There was a smart contract. That smart contract had a link to either an IPFS image or an image on an Amazon uh, uh, cloud. And you were trading that smart contract. And that is a whole NFT craze that happened. I mean, you may have heard these names, CryptoPunks, Bored Apes. And then they went from like $100 to $1,000 dollars uh, in valuation. And of course, when the market fell, they tanked. And they've gone back again, uh, almost equal to the extent to uh, what Bitcoin has uh, done. But the Bitcoin blockchain also evolved at that time because people were saying that Bitcoin is all about money. There's nothing else that can be done in uh, uh, Bitcoin except, hey, give me two Bitcoins, give me three Bitcoins, I'll just keep trading. So the blockchain itself was extended and now you can inscribe works of art on the blockchain itself. So understand this, you have an artwork, the artwork itself is not a link, it's inscribed on the blockchain itself. It's really cutting edge technology. And while everybody may not have heard of this, uh, Christie's just two months, uh, like a month ago, did an ordinals auction. So this is Christie's uh, auction house, uh, created circa 1799 or whatever, one of the largest auction houses in the world. They auctioned ordinals, and what's very interesting is that this ordinals uh, project called Ordinals Maxi Pays, they all come with weird names. The idea is the weirder the name, the better for marketing or okay. was launched less than two and a half months ago, which is completely unusual in the traditional art space. In two and a half months in a traditional art space, nothing happens. I mean, your canvases don't even get framed. Here, a new artist, an artist comes up, launches a collection, and within two months gets picked up by Christie's, and they they fly for around again two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars each. Crazy. These are artworks inscribed. Each of these artworks are inscribed on the Bitcoin blockchain. So that's what's happening right now. So it's not just art. You can actually use the blockchain for. It's not just money. You can use the blockchain for trading and inscribing. So that's the space we're in. Uh, however, I wanted to point out that there's been a lot of negativity around the whole uh, NFT or the ordinary space. The one reason for that is there's a lot of copycat projects out there. There's tons of copycat projects out there. And art that does not work. You, you have to be original, you have to do something different, you have to be creative. You have to be an artist. You can't take a project, board up apes from Ethereum blockchain, put it on the Bitcoin blockchain, and hope for it to be successful. Yes, it may be successful because you know people with money not knowing what to do and they're jump into it, but that's not why things are successful. Now, this is an example of modern art. This guy advanced the theory of modern art into something very creative. Uh, his works in the physical space are for like 50, 60 million bucks. But the point is, it's about modern art. It's about creativity. It's about recognition of that difference of the uh, skill you bring in as an artist. Being copycat will never work. So keeping all these things in mind, we've been working on a project for uh, almost six to nine months now. I just want to bring out what we did. Um, it is complicated. It's not simple money. Uh, so what we did was we actually went back to the 1940s, we bought out the copyright of an Indian artist who had made portrait pictures. Uh, he had around 50 of them. Then we worked with what's called a GAN network. This is an AI concept it's called Generated Adversarial <coughs> Network. It is very tricky because if you download the GAN networks so and you know, what's an open source, you need almost 70,000 or 80,000 images before the network itself trains itself, trained itself to produce images that are interesting. We had 50 images to work with because you know, an artist is not that prolific. So with a lot of what's called augmentation and trial and error, we managed to create an entire profile picture project. Uh, 10,000 portraits that look like this, very modern, each of them very different, inspired by the original artist's works, created in the 1940s. <coughs> and uh, we have actually just about inscribed them on the Bitcoin block. So just, to, just to give you guys a flavor of what else is going on uh, on the blockchain, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, we'll do it. Thanks, guys.